All right. Nothing to it but to do it. Okay. I'm taking it out of the bag. Yeah, you do it. You hurry up and do it already. Don't rush me. We don't need it anymore, right? Just, just throw it. No, 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 I, I can't. I'll get divine punishment. Divine punishment? Sensing ghosts? That's enough of your occult stories. Divine punishment is a fiction the living created. The dead have no power. That might be true, but... Miss. Huh? Toko? Did you say something? Huh? I didn't say anything. Uh, that's strange. For some reason, I thought I heard a voice. Uh, I was just telling you to stop with that stuff. Miss. Miss. See? I heard a g- ah! Oh my- I, I, I'm sorry. What is going on with Komaru's face? That is amazing. What? What happened? What are you shouting about all of a sudden? G -g 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 ghost! The ghost of a severed head! I told you, now's not the time for fooling around. I'm serious! Miss... You're horrible. Throwing my head away like that. I... I, I am sorry. I, I was surprised. I, I dropped it on accident. I didn't mean to. Huh? I, I... I'm really sorry. I apologize. Please, don't curse me! Curse you? There's no way I'd do something so lonely. I just want you to listen. L listen? Kamaru, get a hold of yourself! You're hallucinating! My name is Tokuichi Toa. I was the chairman of Toa Group in the past. Uh, I know. You're Mr. Haiji's father, right? I see. You know Haiji. Then do you know his little sister, Monica, too? What? I, I, I beg your pardon? Little sister... Monica? Monica is a mage, and when I attended elementary school, I was called the Little Ultimate Homeroom. Then, that kid and Mr. Haiji are siblings? Hmm, so you do know about Monica. In that case, I can get right to the point. I beg you, no matter what, using any means necessary, Stop Monica from going out of control. If you let her do this, the name of Toa will be finished. This is bad. Kamaru's chatting up an illusion. I gotta bring her back to her senses. The ungrateful child. She forgets she is in my debt for taking her in. And revolts against me. That's not how that works at all. Taking her in? That whelp's mother was my mistress. But that bitch abandoned her responsibility and forced Monica on me when she was a baby. But isn't a father expected to raise his own child? If her mother wasn't going to raise her, I wouldn't have tolerated the pregnancy at all. That's horrible. I even let her stay in our home and raised her. I could have easily left her in an orphanage. But that child made me end up like this. She killed her own father. For what you and Haiji did to her, you deserved it. It's all that woman's fault. She's the one who made Monica insane. I knew something was wrong the moment I noticed Monica growing more rebellious. Wait, that woman? Even thinking about her horrifies me. Hmm? The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! 
Whoa, hello. The power of Christ compels you. I, I beg you, please, Doc Monica, avenge me. Toko, what are you doing? I was just about to hear something important. Phew. Looks like you're back to your senses. There's no way that stupid chant would work on a real ghost. You were dreaming it. Dreaming? But he told me a lot of things. About the Toa family. Oh, it was all just a delusion. Really? A delusion? Look, you're tired. Dream about stuff when you're in bed after this is all over. I... I still don't get it, but... Okay. I shouldn't be smiling, but that was incredibly silly. Thank you, Toko, for being both the comic relief and the straight man, if that makes sense. You know, the straight man, Cloud Cuckoo Lander type thing. <sighs> there was just... I have no words beyond that. Alright, let's get going. We did gruesome things. Let's do it to it. Hmm. I'm not saying anything. I'm just letting you guys listen to this. Excellent question, but I, I'm, I'm just going to say quiet because this music is amazing. Paralyzed works nicely, at least. That'll really help with those guys. Still up. I don't like dealing with beast monokumas for that reason. <laughs> oh god. I went the wrong way. Togo, let's go to it. Alright, now that we've heard the entire song, I don't feel as bad talking. Ooh, 
It smells like someone's making meatloaf downstairs. Ooh, love that smell. What's in here? No, no, you don't take that music away from me! I'm sad now. Those who dream, Momoyo's throat. I shouldn't have had that dream. If only thinking would make it so. How easy that would be. When you're thinking about something like that, how are you supposed to feel? To keep myself from thinking like that, I'll just keep trudging along with my head down. Though she finally had, though she's finally fulfilled her long-desired dream to become a novelist, Momoyo Muto's talent has dried up in less than two years. Her dream, her money, her life, and the encounter too frail to call fate. Which reminds me. I need to ask you something important. Hmm? Something important? Um... We are, you know, friends, right? And friends discuss things like hopes and dreams, right? <laughs> yeah? Don't mess with me! Why don't you sound sure? Am I wrong? Um... Well, there are different forms of friendship, after all. Anyway, I realize that I don't know your dream. So tell me, what's your embarrassing dream for the future? Uh, well... It's not like outside of this town is peaceful, so it might not really matter what my dream is. What? Are you embarrassed or something? Well, a little. Aren't all dreams a little bit embarrassing? No. My dream for the future is... greedy. It's embarrassing for me to think that far. Hmm. I will just say it already. I won't laugh. But... No, you're definitely gonna laugh. Don't mess with me! I said I won't, so I won't. Just say it already. Promise you won't make fun of me? Ugh. You're persistent. I promise. Um... Okay, I've been thinking about it on and off since middle school. Um, I want to be a manga artist. No. Or, I think that, like, it might be nice to be one. I see. That is very you. Why'd you get quiet? Uh... You're really not going to make fun of me for that? Well, you won't change my opinion that manga is trash. But... I told you I won't make fun of you. And besides, the desire to be something is admirable. I would never make fun of that. Toko. What? You're creeping me out. It's nothing. I'm just glad that you're my friend. If I ever draw manga, I want you to be the first one to read it. I can't imagine the day would come that I actually read a manga. <gasps> Do you mean? Anyway, manga or novels, none of that's going to get done unless we get out of this town. So let's hurry up and finish this. Yeah, as long as we're together, everything will turn out right. I need health. Something fierce. Ah, oh, thank goodness the music is back. I was worried that it wasn't going to come back after that. I am going the right way, right? Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. But Lord Goshen's mug is, like, so ugly. No filter is going to make that face look pretty. That's why his profile pick is his dog. I'm telling you, our parents just don't match. Seriously, it doesn't make any sense at all. Navy knee high looks skinny. I'm so jealous. Why does Saki just give me life? No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, burn truth bullets. Okay. Oh, good. We're not that far back. Alright, where is he? Let's grab this, and then let's go back. I was wondering why we had so much burn ammo. But, you know what? That's fine. In fact, we might need it again. Come here. 
Yeah, not much he can do. Oh, the music ends as soon as all the beast monocopas are dead. Damn it! Oh, I just realized their image has changed with all your health. I think. Like he's looking for someone. How do you know? When did you get the ability to read the minds of homicidal bears? Which Bonokuma were we talking about? That came out of nowhere. Where is the Monokuma looking for someone? Furthermore, what's over here? Monokuma kids. All in... Well, I mean, at least the chairs are comfy. Killing Urge? Okay. Let's equip that. Max batteries plus one. Ooh, I am two skill points shy. What else can we turn off? Nah, I'm not too worried about it. Four batteries seems enough. There's gotta be at least one more store, I imagine. I just find it interesting that Beast Monokumas always show up whenever Let's Play with Monokuma is being sung. It was probably deliberate, but still. Like, if you if you find the lyrics set, that song is dark. Oh, wait! I, I totally forgot something! What? The chairman's head! We left it! Now he's gonna curse me again! <sighs> I'm leaving. Are there any extra rooms over here? Oh, there is. There are, I should say. I mean, well, we kind of have to go through that way anyway. So before we do that... Aha! There's stuff over there. Hmm. Another game corner here. Oh no, I have to find the singing kid. Well, I'm not going to succeed in this one. I already know that. <laughs> Over there! Someone's hanging from the ceiling! Kotoko? I was wondering where she was. And they're all circling her. So I have to find the singing kid. Well, if they're all doing that, that's fine. I can manage that. Okay. got some incredible upper body strength to be able to hold on for however long you've been there. Ignore her. There's no way I can do that. Hey, you're too trusting. She's that perverted girl who took away your virginity. What? No, she didn't. A Monokuma kid is somewhere in this room controlling them. Find that kid and friggin' kill him! You heard her. I'm not going to kill them. When the beast Monokumas are focused on her, that's your Sasa. chance. Say, Monokuma. No! I'm gonna be humiliated by a beast, but I'm still a kid! It's either one of these two, I think.
Ah, it's that one. Okay. Although, this might also be a good time to end this episode, so... God, this is weird. I'll see you guys for the next one.